In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the marquee tool by using it multiple times to add to a selection. In this particular picture, I have a picture of a cake, a two-tiered cake with a plate underneath it. And I'm going to make the selection of the cake as well as the plate underneath it. So this suggests that I use the marquee tool because I have geometrical shapes here, the rectangle, which is the cake, and then the oval, which is the plate underneath it. To make multiple selections with the marquee tool, just click and drag to make your first selection, like so. I'm going to transform that selection a bit to make it a little more accurate. So I'm, going to just, I'm going to go to Select Transform Selection and pull that out of it. Notice I do have some feathering happening. It gives us a softer edge when I copy this out of here. And I know it's a feather happening because the uh, when I do a transform selection, the solid line, the handles are a little bit off from the dotted moving dotted line. And if I glance up here and apply that transformation, glance up here in my setting for the marquee tool, I do have a five pixel feather setting. Now I want to add to this selection by also grabbing this plate underneath it. And before I do that, I'm going to change my feather back to zero for this next selection. And instead of a rectangle marquee, we choose the elliptical marquee tool because of the shape of the plate underneath it. Now this will take a little bit of practice to, to make this selection accurate. Because I'm adding to the selection, I don't have the option to transform the selection after the fact because it automatically adds it to the previous selection. So I need to be a little, a little bit more accurate when I start the selection. Because I want to add to it before I press and click my mouse, to make this selection, I'm going to hold down the shift key. When I do that, notice I have my cursor has a little plus sign to the bottom right of it indicating it's going to add to this selection. And from here, I'm going to click and drag to make the selection. I'm a little bit off on the left hand side, so I'm going to hold down the space bar, which moves that entire selection. And I'm matching it up to the top left of the plate there, then release my space bar and go something like that. It looks fairly accurate. Then release my mouse. And now you'll notice the selection includes the cake as well as the plate underneath it. Now I could do a Command or Control C to copy that. Command or Control N for File New. And then paste that into my new. And I would probably do some cleanup work to get rid of this tablecloth around the cake. But that's a quick demonstration of using the marquee tool multiple times to make a selection. In this case, I added to the selection by holding down the Shift key. If I needed to take it away from the selection, I would hold down the Alt or the Option key on the Mac side. 